Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you one step solution for all your placement needs friends this is Pratik Srivastava here and now we are going to solve the Goldman Sachs 11 AM shift questions of reasoning and aptitude okay so let us start with the question number one and friends I hope the earlier videos are helping you a lot in your examination so in a certain code language laconic can be written as E C N Q E K P so let us write down first here so L A C O N I C it has written as E C N Q E K P right okay so what is the code for L A N G U I D so friends before you solve this questions you need to think a bit see here also L code is E here also L if the code is E but we are not finding anything E in the option that means thus E is not the code for L so what is basically happening friends if we we'll try to see then C D E so C plus 2 will be giving you E and L M N L plus 2 will be N so same thing L M N so plus 2 and N O P so plus 2 and plus 2 here so P and third letter will be N so we could see P third letter is F so this is wrong out of this okay and then option 2 will be also wrong so only option starting with P C N will be the correct one right okay so B and C is eliminated now we have this option and we have this option okay so friends we can see if we are able to find out the last or the second last letter then we can easily find out the answer okay now friends so here you see C P and here you see I K so I J K I plus 2 I plus 2 is K so I plus 2 I J K will be K here so friends you can say option A will be the correct answer so that simple question and it will add plus 5 marks into your bucket okay so friends you need to find out the simple question attempt first and then move towards the difficult problem friends question number 2 so question number 2 is again uh, a coding decoding problem from the reasoning so in a certain code language Monday is written as so let me take some uh, other marker here so in a certain code language Monday is written as 1 3 1 5 4 1 4 and then 25 right see 4 1 4 and then 1 25 now friends if we will try to analyze how this code is written so let us see M so friends these are the position there are total 26 alphabets in English and position for A is 1 B for 2 C is 3 so like this so continuous total 26 letters so these are the positions these are referring the position now Monday so M you see M code is 13 okay so first one is clear then O O code is 15 okay done then N N code is 14 but here we could see this is 41 something like that so friends basically what they have done here so middle letter they have exchanged so n has n code is 14 here and d code is 4 here so this is only little bit twist where there so d code is 4 and n code is 14 after that a code is 1 and y code is 25 no problem in the similar way they are asking what will be the code for Thursday okay now so friends middle one is this so middle one we also code also we need to interchange it so code for t so code for t will be you can see code for t is 20 so 20 okay then code for h code for h is 8 then code for u is 21 okay now r and s code has to be interchanged middle code has to be interchanged so the code for s is 19 and the code for R is 18 then the code for D will be 4 the code for A is 1 and the code for Y is 25 that's all now friends we can verify our answer so 28 21 19 18 41 25 so 28 okay then 21 okay 19 okay 18 41 25 option 1 will become the correct answer all other answers will be wrong okay see because here 8125 it should end with 4125 okay now here you can see 
2028 no 208 okay and here you can see here it is 20821 after that 91 is there okay so option a will become the correct answer now friends question number 3 so question number 3 find the missing letter in the series so you need to find out the missing letter in the series so d w now friends if you see the position so d opposite of d is what w a very simple question friends plus 5 marks getting the plus 5 marks in this goldman sachs examination is still easy so opposite of d is w done j q opposite of j is q that is also done s so opposite of s opposite of s will be h so the missing letter will be the missing letter will be nothing but h option b will be the correct answer now friends question number 4 is a very good question from the probability so let us see how can we solve it here okay so a team of five members has to be formed so we are basically going to form five member team in that there will be nine okay so right okay so a five member team is going to be formed from nine boys and eight girls so total 17 people are there out of that you are going to form a five member team find the probability that at least one girl is included in all team okay so in one girl will be included in all the teams okay now let us see friends probability will be equal to ne divided by ns okay now so here selection is there right okay so what will be the total sample space friends total outcomes if you will talk total outcome then we can see friends total is 17 total number is 17 and we are going to select five team members out of that so 17 c 5 okay now friends so the team member five team members we are going to make and we have to make sure one girl is always included so what i will do five member team in the first case i will take one girl and then i will take four boys in the second case see girls has a condition so minimum should be one maximum can be anything so now two girls and then three boys then three girls and two boys then four boys sorry four girls and four girls and one boy then all five girls they are telling in the team minimum one can be girl and remaining you can keep boy so one girl okay four boys now i can keep two girls and then three boys then i can keep three girls and two boys then i can keep four girls and one boy and then i can keep all five girls now friends now ncr will be equal to n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial this you will be already knowing so friends i might not get a space to solve completely but i will tell you before only the op answer will be option d and i will try to solve a bit 17 c5 so 17 into 16 into 15 into 14 into 13 17 minus 5 will be 12 so i have stopped till 12 and 5 factorial will be 120 so 15 8 ja and 8 2 ja so basically i have got 17 c5 is nothing but 17 into 2 into 14 into 13 i am not doing the complete div i mean multiplication here right now then 8 c1 into 9 c4 so 8 c1 will be 8 And nine C four, if we calculate, we will be getting nine into two into seven. I will show you one for one. I will show you nine C four. So nine C four means nine factorial. Okay. So nine into eight into seven into six. We will stop till five because nine minus four will be five. Five will come down, and four factorial will be twenty four. Six four ja and four two ja. So nine into two into seven like this. Okay. Then next, if we solve this, we will be getting twenty eight into eighty four. Then Next, we will be getting fifty-six into thirty-six. Then we will be getting seventy into nine, and then we will be getting fifty-six. Friends, what we will do? We will take fourteen common from all. So, okay. So fourteen I took common. So nine into eight is seventy-two plus. Here it will become one sixty-eight. Okay. So if we we'll take fourteen common, then two into eighty-four. Four common. Ah, uh, fourteen common means four into thirty-six will be one forty-four. Fourteen common means five into nine forty-five. And here it will be nothing but four, and divided by seventeen into two into fourteen into thirteen. So this fourteen will get cancelled. Okay, now, friends, if you multiply this, you will get four forty two, and if you add everything, you will be getting four thirty three. 
So option D will become the correct answer. It will also add five marks in your Goldman Sachs examination. So when this is how you have to write the examination. So easy problems you need to do first and difficult problems later. I know each one of you can easily do it friends. So keep, uh, you know, trust on yourself and whatever I have taught on that. And that's all friends for your examination. Thank you. This is the last video today for Goldman Sachs examination. All the best guys.